Hello and welcome to my SharePoint branding and design video blog. My name is Eric Swenson. You can reach me at Twitter at Eric J. Swenson. In this session today we're going to be going over the UI overview for SharePoint 2013 and some of the different changes within the UI. Let's get started. So this is the first look at the uh, new user interface. You can see it's a very uh, simple design. There's very simple colors, uh, a standard blue, gray. A lot of the changes are towards this new Metro UI. Um, they're not really using that name, but this is a specific design where they have pulled a lot of the colors out, a lot of the gradients, kept it to a flat color. So within the design you can see that there's a simple header so you have the word SharePoint at the top and this blue header up at the top you've got some global links newsfeed SkyDrive and sites we'll talk about those in a second you have your name and within your name you have a drop down about yourself you can personalize this page you have this other uh, setting up here this is a new icon so within here you don't have a word that says site actions anymore up in the top right you have this little icon that looks like a gear so once you click on that this is your new site actions you have your help you can provide feedback so this is on the public beta you're able to share this so this sort of gives permissions you have the ability to follow sites and then this sort of icon here this will allow you to minimize the left side navigation so you can really focus on the content you can bring that back so overall that's sort of the the global components you also see that you have sort of this logo on the top left this is your basic uh, logo that you could change and add a different image it seems where it's a specific height and width so if you add in a really tall image it's going to be pretty small the other thing you have is your global navigation for local navigation at the top. You'll have the ability to add in drop downs. This navigation is actually built on top of taxonomy terms, so we'll talk about that in a later session. You have your search. One big key difference in search here is that the drop down for scopes is no longer on the left. It's actually in this little drop down here. So if you click on that, you'll be able to search this site, everything, people, and even conversations here. The next thing you'll see is you have your left side navigation. Now you can have it different from your top, but you could also have it the same. You could easily just click edit links to edit your page. And this site right here is actually based on a publishing uh, template. So it comes in with the publishing feature. It also gives you these two sections. So whether you're an information architect and you need to change the permissions or change the navigation, create some content types, um, also configure your search. As a visual designer, you'd be able to import design packages, um, do a variety of different things, and also within here for the publishing infrastructure, you have the design manager, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So from a general UI standpoint, it's very clean, very simple. Um, white background, not too much going on. Um, actually, maybe it's a little bit too minimalistic, so um, some people might think that's a, a negative. So starting off with the templates, um, if we go to a team site template, this is sort of what you see here. So you'll get some images with hover overs, and this will sort of be your starting guide. So if you can, uh, as a site owner, you can come in here and you can share your site, you can uh, add some tax, tax. You could update the libraries, um, choose a different design. We'll talk about that later in another series. And also update your brand. So add a logo, change the logo, um, you know, do a variety of different things. So this is an example where we've uploaded a document to the library. Uh, you click on a document. You'll then see your ribbon up in the top. It's, and by default, it's actually minimized. So you'd have to click on the tab to then see it. So that's one sort of big change there is that a lot of times in SharePoint 2010, um, as soon as you click on a document, a lot of stuff sort of starts flowing on the page. So this is a sort of a user interface where you would have to click to see more. So um, within the uh, team site, you can also have your own news feed. So not to be confused with the news feed on the top, but this is its own um, specific news feed. So in here you can 
have a conversation with people. You could reply. You could um, do a variety of different things here. Uh, you have your document libraries. Uh, now the site contents is sort of your all site content. So if you're used to in SharePoint 2010, the view all site content, what you'll see here is this, uh, they've converted documents and libraries and uh, list and libraries into what they call apps. So pretty much everything that used to be a list or a library they're calling as an app. So um, things like pages, documents, uh, feeds, these are all apps. So if you go to click on to add a new app, you'll see that things like document libraries, forms, wikis, picture libraries, these are all apps. So links, discussions, tasks, surveys, so pretty much you the same uh, list and libraries you get in 2010 and 2007. Um, they're just renaming it into a different thing. So you're going to start hearing more about apps. So from here, um, the other thing, that you, uh, a new feature is under sites. So if I wanted to follow the site, I could. Um, the other thing is if I follow a site, I have that under sites. So right now I'm following project, team, publishing portal, and community. So let's step over to the project site. So the project site's a little bit more advanced. It's got this sort of custom Gantt chart view. So as you create tasks, you can show them on this summary. Um, you can click into an item, view information. It gives you the sort of these pop-ups that kind of give you nice little um, previews of what um, the task is. and then from here you can see the other it's pretty much like a, a standard um, team site so I can go to the calendar this gives an example of what the calendar looks like I could go to add an item very similar to 2010 um, and that's about it so there's a few um, few differences here but there's not really anything major um, for these, this specific uh, template. For the garden, uh, for the community sites, I've created a sort of this garden community. So when you um, add a site, you can actually um, promote certain sites to uh, these as an administrator. You can promote certain sites, so they would show up here. Um, the logo of that site would actually be this little section here. So if I clicked on the garden community. I would navigate to the garden uh, site. You can see there's a little bit of a UI issue here. But um, otherwise, you can see all the discussions. The other way you can actually see discussions is if you clicked on categories. So categories also allows you to um, add in an image for your discussion topics. So for this example here about tractors, um, there's a specific discussion going on. You could click on that topic see what's going on. You could reply. Now if somebody actually had a question, you could reply with a, the answer and somebody actually could tag that as a best reply. So as you go through, you could simply type, hit enter, um, and reply to that discussion. Members is basically showing who the members are, top com uh, contributors. So as you start replying to certain discussions, you'll actually be promoted as uh, sort of an expert or get badges based on um, you know how many times you have uh, replied to a certain discussion and if you are uh, get marked as a best reply it'll actually give you promote you a little bit more that's about it for the communities now if we go under sites and sort of back to our uh, publishing portal you can actually, uh, if you go up to Newsfeed, this is actually showing um, your personal page. So I could start a conversation. And you could post that. Now one nice thing about the, the noteboard is you can uh, use the at symbol. And um, actually based on your colleagues and people you're, you're, uh, you're uh, following, you can actually uh, type directly to them. So, uh, 
the other thing you could do is use hashtags so for uh, specific um, uh, tags so in here I could use sales the other thing you could do is actually as you navigate throughout the site you could actually follow sites you could follow people um, you can also follow tags so here I could see that I'm following a certain amount of people and if I navigate to their site or their profile I could see them in the org chart and I can then click on those people's names within the org chart Another nice uh, addition to the uh, new user interface is the, uh, so here's an example of the org chart. And it's very similar to 2010. So if we go back to our main site here and we do a search. Now search has actually been um, updated so when you look on the refiners on the left, you can do the same thing you did in 2007, but you could also use these um, sliders. So you can actually filter information based on sort of a slider like in 2010, it was you know one week ago, one month ago, one year ago. Um, and here you can actually filter it down to um, you know using this uh, graphical slider. The other thing you could do is um, under the search if you were to search for people and you can see here I hover over my garden community it gives me a bunch of information about that um, I could then go to back to my main site and do people And here's an example of um, you know a result where this has skills, projects, schools, um, different information, uh, connections. So this is actually a view of your own profile. Now if I did search for somebody else, so that's an example there for a search. So um, you know it's very it's it's very clean. It's very uh, you know, new and, and different and you know designing this is actually going to be pretty good because um, it'll actually allow for a lot of flexibility with uh, new design patterns and that sort of thing. So uh, that's the first look at uh, SharePoint 2013 uh, from a user interface perspective. Um, the next sessions we're going to get into sort of the design manager and customizing your design. Thanks.